an application service provider is a business providing computer-based services to customers over a network, such as access to a particular software application using a standard protocol. The need for ASPs has evolved from the increasing costs of specialized software that have far exceeded the price range of small to medium-sized businesses. As well, the growing complexities of software have led to huge costs in distributing the software to end users. Through ASPs, the complexities and costs of such software can be cut down. In addition, the issues of upgrading have been eliminated from the end firm by placing the onus on the ASP to maintain up-to-date services, 24x7 technical support, physical and electronic security and inbuilt support for business continuity and flexible working. The importance of this marketplace is reflected by its size. As of early 2003, estimates of the United States market ranged from billion dollars. Clients for ASP services include businesses, government organizations, non-profits, and membership organizations. Provider types, there are several forms of ASP business. These are, a specialist or functional ASP delivers a single application, such as credit card payment processing or timesheet services. A vertical market ASP delivers a solution package for a specific customer type, such as a dental practice. An enterprise ASP delivers broad-spectrum solutions. A local ASP delivers small business services within a limited area. Some analysts identify a volume ASP as a fifth type. This is basically a specialist ASP that offers a low-cost packaged solution via their own website. PayPal was an instance of this type, and their volume was one way to lower the unit cost of each transaction. In addition to these types, some large multi-line companies use ASP concepts as a particular business model that supports some specific customers. The ASP model, the application software resides on the vendor's system and is accessed by users through a web browser using HTML or by special purpose client software provided by the vendor. Custom client software can also interface to these systems through XML APIs. These APIs can also be used where integration with in-house systems is required. ASPs may or may not use multi-tenancy in the deployment of software to clients. Some ASPs offer an instance or license to each customer, some deploy in a single instance multi-tenant access mode, now more frequently referred to as SAAS. Common features associated with ASPs include, ASP fully owns and operates the software application, S. ASP owns, operates and maintains the servers that support the software, ASP makes information available to customers via the Internet or a thin client, ASP bills on a per-use basis or on a monthly annual fee, the advantages to this approach include, software integration issues are eliminated from the client site, software costs for the application are spread over a number of clients, vendors can build more application experience than the in-house staff, Key software systems are kept up to date, available, and managed. For performance by experts, improved reliability, availability, scalability and security of internal IT systems, a provider's service level agreement guarantees a certain level of service, access to product and technology experts dedicated to available products, reduction of internal IT costs to a predictable monthly fee redeploying IT staff and tools to focus on strategic technology projects that impact the enterprise's bottom line, some inherent disadvantages include, the client must generally accept the application as provided since ASPs can only afford a customized solution for the largest clients, the client may rely on the provider to provide a critical business function, thus limiting their control of that function and instead relying on the provider. Changes in the ASP market may result in changes in the type or level of service available to clients, integration with the client's non-ASP systems may be problematic, evaluating an application service provider security when moving to an ASP infrastructure can come at a high cost, as such a firm must assess the level of risk associated with the ASP itself. Failure to properly account for such risk can lead to, loss of control of corporate data, loss of control of corporate image, insufficient ASP security to counter risks, exposure of corporate data to other ASP customers, compromise of corporate data, 
Some other risks include failure to account for the financial future of the ASP in general, that is how stable a company is and if it has the resources to continue business into the foreseeable future. For these reasons Cisco Systems has developed a comprehensive evaluation guideline. This guideline includes evaluating the scope of the ASP's service, the security of the program and the ASP's maturity with regard to security awareness. Finally the guidelines indicate the importance of performing audits on the ASP with respect to port network service, application vulnerability, ASP personnel, physical visits to the ASP to assess the formality of the organization will provide invaluable insight into the awareness of the firm. History, in terms of their common goal of enabling customers to outsource specific computer applications so they can focus on their core competencies, ASPs may be regarded as the indirect descendant of the service bureaus of the 1960s and 1970s. In turn, those bureaus were trying to fulfill the vision of computing as a utility, which was first proposed by John McCarthy in a speech at MIT in 1961. Joe Stein Eicheland, the founder of telecomputing, is credited with coining the acronym ASP in 1996, according to Incorporated Magazine. Comparisons The ASP model is often compared with software as a service, but while the latter typically delivers a generic service at scale to many users, the former typically involved delivering a service to a small number of users. This meant that the many benefits of multi tenancy were not accessible to ASP providers and their services were more comparable to in-house hosting than to true multi-tenant SaaS solutions like Salesforce.com. See also, Business Service Provider, Communication as a Service, Hosted Service Provider, Multi-tenancy, Outsourcing, Service Level Agreement, Software as a Service, Utility Computing. References External links, Application Service Providers at DMOZ.